Hi guys, Michael here from uh, Team Shift. Uh, I'm just profiling my Sky Striker list from first place at Exeter Regional um, on Saturday. So um, it was seven rounds and I finished X1, uh, losing to Orcust. Um, I did misplay quite a bit in that game, but overall I was happy with my play throughout the tournament. Um, I highlighted a Sky Striker list without traps. I, I opted for like a go second, uh, quite aggressive list. Uh, and it worked out really well. Um, there's a few interesting picks in the deck that aren't in conventional Sky Striker lists, so um, I'll explain them as we go, but we'll head into it. So, uh, three Ray, three Phantasme, three Skullmeister, one Crow, and one Gold Driver for the monster lineup. Now, every monster in the deck minus Gold Driver is a dark monster. And there is a reason for that. Um, Gold Driver itself is really well, is really good. Um, with like area zero and then, uh, you know, summoning your ray and setting the Metal Foes fusion while you're popping the fusion um, and things like that. I really like Metal Foes Gold Driver. Also for like clearing monsters that you've taken with mind control or getting your Phantasme off board to activate engage and stuff. Um, Phantasme is really good. Um, to talk about Skullmeister for a bit, Skullmeister. Um, I think is really really strong this format um, it's similar it can negate a lot of things that Ash can negate but um, it's also just really good with any uh, graveyard effect so um, like under Babel you can't DD Crow Orcus because they chain because they're quick effects but you can Skullmeister them um, and things like that Skullmeister has absolutely loads of applications um, so I was really really happy I played Skullmeister. I, I was originally thinking of playing the 2 two ratio of 2 Crow 2 Meister, but uh, I changed to Skullmeister 3 and 1 uh, last second just because I thought it was really really strong and it did work out. Skullmeister was amazing throughout the day. Uh, so to go on to the spells, we've got 3 Engage, 3 Area 0, 2 Shark Cannon, 1 Widow Anchor, Hornet Drones, Multi Roll, Hercules Base, Afterburners, Jamming, uh, for the Sky Strikers, so uh, played three area zero just because I wanted as many spells as possible. Um, and like I said, it's a trapless build, so I just want to draw all my engine and um, and you know just try break through boards, which Sky Striker does really well. Um, so onto the supporting spells and trap well, the spells, and we've got three goods, three Metal Force Fusion, and the spicy card to a Law of Darkness. So a Law of Darkness is absolutely fantastic. Um, it is the reason why we play so many dark monsters. You've got three for Ray, three for Phantasme, three for Meister, one for Crow, and also Rota. Um, you might think banishing Ray, well, you don't want to do that, um, but you don't need three Ray in your deck to win the game. And also, Ray is bad in multiples, um, and the added benefit with Allura over loads of things is you can draw two and then select the dark that you want to banish. Um, you might think, oh well, a law's dead if you don't have a, a dark monster, but if you set your whole hand uh, and then a law with, say, like engage set, then a law either says draw two because you'll draw into a dark and banish it, um, so it's, it's a better upstart, or it says put three spell cards in your grave straight away because unless you're drawing Gold Driver, which is the only non-dark monster in the deck if you're drawing any other dark monster it's a better upstart and if you're not drawing a monster uh, a lore is one spell engrave and then the two draws is the the discard for three spells engrave um, so it's really really strong um, I really really liked a lore and, and I'd even be tempted to play three a lore in the future um, so we've got two twin. Uh, twin's really strong now um, because Orcus aren't ending on the ding board, they're ending on IP. Um, so I was really happy with twin. It beats uh, loads of trap decks, loads of rogue, rogue decks and things like that. And it is pretty good against Orcus because, you know, they, they'll they have like a babble and like a cosmic cyclone set or anything. And that cosmic cyclone could really hurt you. It's nice just to be able to clear those, get two spells engraved and things and uh, keep moving forwards. Played two Called by the Grave. Uh, now, Called by the Grave is really strong in this list. Um, one of the reasons why is we don't play conventional hand traps like everyone else. Uh, we, don't, we don't play Ash and things. So, Called by the Graving their Ash means we're not turning off our own Ash. Um, the problem with Orcus playing Called by the Grave is that it turns off your own stuff in the mirror match and things. 
But um, this doesn't have that problem with, you know, banishing loads of Orcus cards and it doesn't hurt us at all. Call of the Grave is really, really strong. Um, I am playing a 41 card list. I was originally on 3 called by and I thought I'm not maining any non-striker spell and trap destruction. So I took a Call by the Grave out and added the 2 twin and I definitely didn't regret it. Um, and then we've got the normal Rotor, Upstart, Metal Phase Fusion and Terraforming. But like I said, 41 cards. Um, it's really difficult to find out what to cut. Um, there's We're maxing out on engine, and the non-engine cards are all really, really strong. Um, but I would want to try fit a third of Lauren. It's just really difficult. Um, so we'll go to the extra deck. Uh, super conventional at this point. Uh, one Kagari, three Shizuku, three Hayate, Kana, Boral Swords, Bomber, Ningirsu, Phoenix, Heater, Starving Venom, and Dingirsu. And then for the side deck, uh, two Lancia and the second Crow, uh, the Predaplant, Dracus Topelia, uh, three Super Poly, and two System Down. So System Down has been creeping up a bit more in play. Um, I think the Lucard is really, really, really strong. Um, you don't want to shotgun it straight away because it's rare that Orcus can ever kill you. Um, you just sort of have to gauge that situation. If you think they'll kill you, then assist them down. But the later you save it, the more impactful it is. Um, against one of my Orcus opponents, um, I saved it and I didn't need to use it. But if at any point he cleared my, you know, shark cannon control, widow anchor setup um, throughout our game, because it was a bit grindy, then like it was almost as if it was for waste because I'd just system down him anyway. Um, so I was really happy with System Down. Um, I do side it in when I think Orcus are still going to make me go first, because, again, like I said, I very much doubt they, they're going to kill me. Um, and I suppose whilst we're showing cards that I do side in going first, the only go first side card I put in other than that is Different Dimension Ground, which is, again, when I think people are going to make me go first. Um, I can put in Hand Traps as well when I think they're making me go first, um, but Different Dimension Ground it just fits the fits the slot for trying to shut down a turn when when they make me start, which does all, which does work alright because Yoshizuku gets you an engage and, and whatnot for guaranteed play um, on your second turn, so turn three. Then we've just got the third twin and triple evenly matched. Evenly matched was really, really, really strong throughout the whole day. Um, because it is a really aggressive list, um, we just throw out loads of stuff. Um, it does conflict with Phantasme, um, but you can uh, save Phantasme when you've got the evenly, and that will usually secure things. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with the list. Um, another good thing about Allure is, say certain hand traps you're playing aren't really good against the deck you're against, like Phantasme, you can just allure it away, you draw two cards, put a spell in Grave, um, and probably draw two more spells, which is really, really good. So um, I suppose there's my take on Dark Sky Strikers. It is just Sky Strikers, but with Allure. Um, so yeah, shout out to everyone in the team, shout out to Carl for driving to Exeter, um, and shout out to Harry Whistler. The reason why I played this list is because at the airport in Peru, because we went to Lima, 17th place, um, he was joking, oh Michael, you all you do is play striker, why don't you just, you know, you know for playing stupid lists, why don't you just play a load of dark monsters and throw a lures in your deck and, and I was like you know that's not a bad idea I, thought, I was completely joking but um, I have to give him the shout out nonetheless so thanks for that Harry I guess and uh, that's pretty much everything thanks bye